In this video, we're going to build a simple calculator app for in Flutter for uh, both Android and iOS devices. Let's start with the project. I'm going to go ahead and create a calculator app on my desktop. I am going to go to that application. I'll open the project and open it in Visual Studio. Yes, I trust the authors. Inside this, I'm going to jump straight into my library main dot dot and go ahead and remove this and update this to my app where I have created. I'm going to get rid of all these things because I'm going to create a sub custom different class. I'm not going to use what is given. I've created the I created a material app title as calculator theme is colors dot blue. And I'm going to create this cal calculator page uh, view for this particular app. So let's go ahead and create that calculator page stateful widget and override with this particular state, which I'm going to do here. So right here, I'm going to put this code here for the entire calculator and then go through it step by step. So my calculator page state. Now, one of the things that I was requested to me was change the theme of this particular uh, Visual Studio code to have a dark mode. So let's do that first. So how do I do that? So go to code settings theme color theme this particular thing I'm going to select dark mode and there you go we have the dark mode enabled and inside here let's go through the code now. I'm going to make it a little bigger so it's much more visible. So in my calculator page state, which uh, has the calculator page uh, associated here, I am going to give an output, initial output to zero, current number equal to zero. So that's why my display number, previous number is nothing, operation is nothing. The operation will keep track of my operation that I'm doing. So depending on, so I'm creating a number pressed, depending on which number is pressed, if current number is zero, I'm going to set current number equal to that number that is passed to me else current number is plus equal to the number that is passed to me and the output in this particular case will be current number whatever comes out from this i have also operation pressed where depending on which operation is pressed i'm going to take the previous number which is the current number and the current number i'm going to set it to zero and operation i'm going to set to the operation that is provided to me so when they press like let's say plus i'm going to reset the screen to zero so now they can enter the next number that uh, the user wants to put in and then calculate in calculate i have uh, the number number where this is actual calculation happening so depending on plus minus multiply divide i've given these four options that will call that but pass that result to that and i'm going to set the state once the result calculate uh, is uh, when they get, want to get the result it will just say output equal to result dot string current number result dot string previous number will be empty operation is empty because now you can reset from where you started we have the clear bar clear option clear function where i'm setting all the output equal to zero current number equal to zero previous number empty and operation to empty i'm also going to create a function uh, widget which is the build button uh, which is building the button for us which will have an container with elevated button this will for each and every button that we have for uh, our operations where depending on which operation is used plus minus multiply slash it will accordingly have that if uh, none of these are the buttons then it's equal to or equal to clear so depending on that those functions will be called in this particular case and finally for the numbers whichever number is pressed it will take care of that so this function will create a custom uh, widget for all the buttons that we are going to create in this build the main uh, build uh, function. So this is our actual screen, which has uh, initially the scaffold, the app bar, which will say calculator. We'll have the body of column. Uh, so it's it's kind of laying out the calculator. We'll see when we run this application, which has the container initially. I have in this particular uh, container. Uh, if you look at this, uh, this container will have just the text, which will display the text for it. Next, we have the column for all the numbers 789 on the top. We'll have 789 uh, slash or divide 
uh, on the next row we will have 4, 5, 6 and multiply. Next one will have 1, 2, 3 minus. So from the bottom up if you look at it, it will have 0, clear, equal to plus and above that will have 1, 2, 3. And so the kind of think of it as from bottom down, bottom up, it will have a calculator view. So that's all that we have in the view. Uh, let me know if it works out, if it doesn't work out as exactly what we are going to see next. Uh, uh, leave a comment and I'll help you out with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and say flutter run. Have our emulators open. Run once on the Android device. So it's going to build it. And there you go. As I mentioned from bottom up, we'll have zeros clear equal to plus. 1, 2, 3, minus 4, 5, 6 and then no top. So based on this, we have this particular view. I'm going to also run it for uh, iOS while this is doing that. We can try it out as you see as in when I enter the number plus and equal to will give me the number. I can clear it out. I can do 14 times 2 equal to. So it works perfectly right now. Let's go ahead and see how it runs on iPhone. So I'm going to run it for iPhone 2. This is a very basic calculator. You can make more complex one if you want to, but this kind of gives you an idea of how to create a basic calculator for both iPhone and Android. So now it's built for iPhone and it's running here. Exactly same thing. There's no difference. Uh, 12 times 5 equal to 60. You can clear it out. 78 minus 56 equal to so Try out the different calculations, it should work because it's just basic math and a basic calculator. I hope you got the same output as I did. Uh, if you had any issues or any problems, leave them on the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible.